The reports are still coming in, but government officials, they say that gunmen have killed at least eight people, mostly tourists, at a museum next to the parliament building in the capital, Tunis. The officials say that the gunmen are holding other tourists hostage in the Bardo Museum. Let's get more on this. Our world affairs correspondent, Paul Adams, joins us here in the studio. Paul, what more do we know? It, it's still a very, very unclear situation, Yada. It does seem to be still going on. Uh, it's pretty clear, I think, that this is not, as some people were uh, assuming at the beginning, an attack on the nearby parliament, which did go straight into lockdown. Uh, it does seem to be a very deliberate targeted attack against one of uh, Tunis's main tourist attractions, the Bardo Museum, full of very significant uh, uh, artifacts. There are pictures being tweeted out from inside the museum, which appear to show uh, tourists, some local, some foreigners, on the ground. There's even one curious photo which shows the back of someone who looks, to all intents and purposes, like uh, a member of the military. And there were some suggestions that these armed uh, people got into the museum dressed in military uniform. So we're not quite sure what the, what, the, what the appearance of these attackers is, or indeed how many there are, two or three. Some suggestion that one had already fled, possibly taking some tourists with him. But I think it does seem to be a situation in which uh, we have hostages being held inside the museum. As you say, in the last uh, half an hour or so, a spokesman for the Interior Ministry said that there were eight dead, uh, one Tunisian, and one has to assume seven tourists, uh, and lots of nationalities being talked about, or, uh, either as talking about the, those who are dead or probably those who are still inside as hostages, French, Spanish, British, Italian, and Tunisian. Uh, as you say, lots of uh, different nationalities. There, just briefly, uh, uh, Paul, um, uh, you know, since Bin Ali was ousted in 2011, uh, the, the situation in the country has remained uh, unstable. I mean, is there a growing presence of Islamic State there? Yes, that is very much the fear. And it is worth remembering that the largest single number of foreign jihadi fighters participating in Islamic State in Iraq and Syria come from Tunisia. And there are increasing fears of violence spilling over the border from neighboring Libya, with uh, uh, some suggestion that a, a cell was wrapped up even today, before news of this attack, with links to militants from Libya. So I think, g given the, the, the slightly unstable political situation, better than most post-Arab Spring countries, it has to be said, but still difficult, and this uh, this uh, participation of so many young Tunisians in Islamic State, an attack like this in Tunisia itself was probably only a matter of time. So you're looking at uh, some pictures from Tunisian TV. Uh, we're getting reports that scores of injured have now been rushed to various hospitals in Tunis. Uh, and the Interior Ministry has said the majority of the foreign hostages have been evacuated. We're also uh, hearing reports that uh, government forces, security forces, have entered that museum in the country's capital uh, where it's believed that militants are holding some of the hostages.